Sarah, what are you doing here? You need to be gone. I know I shouldn't be here, but I had to see you before I leave. Look, you need to get your daughter and go. They're gonna be here any minute, and I'm not gonna be safe. that I ruined your life and I know that I threw away everything that we built, everything we were working on and there's not a night that goes by that I don't wish that was different but it just ain't and that's a choice that I made and I know it and I gotta live with it and that's something I gotta take up at the pearly gates when I get up there but you still got a choice Edwin Cole? Yeah? Are you familiar with a woman by the name of Jan Baker? Yeah, of course. You know, the boys were calling me about her Friday morning. Is she okay? Mr. Cole, uh, I'm afraid I have to inform you that Miss Baker is dead. What? When did you see her last? Oh my God, this is all my fault. I stood her up. The person who killed Ms. Baker is solely responsible and no one else. Can you tell me where you were gonna meet up with her? Uh, yeah, the south side of the city. Um, there's a Springs Motor Inn. Pull your panties out of your asses. We have a break in the new developments. Developments, sir. Hand. Please. Yes, Officer Gibson. Development. Do you know Corey Robinson? A party. Yeah. You never went back to that hotel after that party three weeks ago. No, Vic. Did you have anything to do with Corey's death? So where were you on the night of the 30th? At home. Why did you guys break up? Would it be all right if we take a sample of your DNA? Stanley Harrison? Yeah? I'm Detective Smith with the Atlanta PD. Do you know a Corey Robinson? Yeah, dead. I should have known the moment I saw him laying there. You saw him? Uh-huh. Look, if we find out you're not telling the truth, you're gonna be facing charges. I guess. If you wanna see someone suffer, you just introduce them to smoking and just sit back and wait. All things considered. Quick bullet to the head seems better.